Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna take a look at the Crusher XF8000. It comes in seven speed and 21 speeds. And if you are interested, the links are in the description. So let's just take a look at this video right here to get more details on. So first off, we have the aluminum alloy spring and oil based front fork suspension system. This also comes with a lock-in or lock-out feature, depending on the type of terrain you're riding on. Then, we have the unmissable 4 inch wide fat tyres, which are great for that extra grip on the road, or letting some air out will make them ideal for riding across soft sand or snow. We have a nice and bright LED front light that can be turned on or off from the bike computer for riding in darker conditions. Next we have the battery, which is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour lithium battery, which has a waterproof design, a handy USB charging port for your phone or any other USB device, and fully charges in three to six hours. Sitting just behind the battery, we can see the middle suspension system, which is rated at a thousand pounds and is sprung loaded for that extra comfort. The black box sat right behind the mid suspension is the motor controller box, which handles the bike's electronic systems. Moving to the back of the bike, we can see the 1000 watt brushless motor, which is said to reach 42 kilometers per hour or 26 miles per hour within 10 seconds. Coupled with its high torque capabilities, it's also great and makes light work of steep hills. On the outside of the rear wheel, we can see the seven speed Shimano TX35 derailleur system connected to a 7S flywheel, which is in turn connected to the front pedals by the bike chain. Moving around to the rear left side of the bike, you can see the included bike stand and the rear hydraulic disc brake system. The disc is a 203 millimeter diameter and also features power off to the motor when the brakes are engaged with the same on the front left of the bike. Moving on to the handlebar we can see the hydraulic brake lever. In front of this we have the full twist throttle for pedalless riding and to the left of the right grip we have the Shimano TX50 shift lever to enable you to shift up and down through the seven gears. Directly in the middle of the handlebar we have the bike computer, which can display a host of information from distance, environment temperatures, assist mode, battery capacity, speed, single trip time, power output from the motor, motor temperature, headlights and backlight for night riding. The small phone holder to the left of that is something that I've added on extra so that doesn't come with the bike. On the left side, we have the rear disc brake lever behind the grip. And just to the right of this, we have the bike computer controller for powering the bike, selecting modes, lights, and various pages of information about the bike's performance. And last of all, we have the Crusher Sports saddle. All right guys, so that was pretty informative. That bike has nine reviews and all nine of them are five stars. So like I said before, if you are interested, the link is in the description and have a look. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.